One change to the Hearts team, 20-year-old Robbie Nielsen in for Gary Locke. Locke's on the bench. Michael Moles is rested with Tori Andrew Flo available to return. I wonder what sort of emotions are buzzing around inside Craig Levine at the moment. As you have seen a chick earlier, he might have been at Montrose yesterday with his Cowden Beef side, but instead all his thoughts were channeled towards here and his first match as head coach of Hearts. And the prospect for him couldn't be much tougher against a Rangers side who appear to be finding their feet. 5-1 winners a week ago against Celtic. And very impressive against Kaiserslautern in midweek. <laughs> Cameron to Jury. Snapshot from Colin Cameron. Barry Ferguson's pass is superb for Arthur Newman's run. Driven in for Miller. And turned away by Gordon Petrich in the six-yard box. In from Ronald De Boer. Lorenzo Amoruso's header. Steve Fulton's pass. Gordon Judy stepped over it brilliantly. It's Juan Jones, blocked by Wilson. Good defending. Lovely play from Judy. Reina sweeps it from right to left. Newman to De Boer. And back with the skipper, Barry Ferguson. It's another top quality pass, Arthur Newman. Didn't quite get the touch he was looking for. Now Alberts, Newman again, sprinting on the outside. And his cutback deflected off the head of Presley and into the hands of Niemi. Contraman's pass to Alberts. And Amoruso on the left side of the back three. Lovely pass for Barry Ferguson. And is it a penalty? Yes, it is. Wonderful pass from Amoruso. Brilliant run from Ferguson. Danny went under the challenge from Gordon Petrich. Penalty kick. Here's George Alberts. No doubt about it. Rangers one up. 12 minutes gone. And Alberts, who struck the late winner against Kaiserslautern in midweek, scores again. Ninth of the season. Rangers are ahead. Yeah, he's blasted that, hasn't it? Uh, George Alberts does miss one or two, but he uh, wasn't going to miss with that one. Claudio Reyna, 1-2 with Ronald De Boer. This is where his, uh, his midfield play comes into being here. He gets, gets on the end of that. Ronald De Boer just slips it to him. It's a good drive. I think Niemi's always got it covered really straight at him. Hearts fans reckon that was a foul by Ferguson and Fulton. Not given. Not popular in these parts, is he, Barry Ferguson? But that will be a booking, I think, for Grant Murray. Steve Fulton's free kick. Presley's after it. But Ronald De Boer in possession. Set off without the ball there. Scott Severin. Driven cross. And Gordon Jury! Brilliant save by Stefan Kloss. Gordon Jury thought he'd the equaliser here. Corner kick from Fulton. Touched away, but only as far as Scott Severin. Shot blocked by Wilson. And Jury's effort is amazingly saved by Kloss. Probably put it anywhere else he might have scored, but it was uh, a bit near the middle of the goals. Kloss got down well. Albert's pass flicked on by De Boer to Newman. Turned back from the byline for Kenny Miller. Long ball from Niemi. That was Gordon Jury and Andy Kerr. Hearts denied again. And again it's Stefan Kors. Right place, right time. Arthur Newman, lovely touch from Tori Andre Flo to get that immediately under control. Onto it is Newman. On his right foot, Arthur Newman. De Boer, change of pace, takes him away from Severin. Back from Alberts. Tori Andre Flo on his left foot. Deflected. Corner kick.
Racing forward after Newman. Back with Amoruso. Seeing the opportunity to get forward. Set up for Arthur Newman. Stretching out Stephen Presley to intercept the cutback. Fired away by Kirk with that skids clear of jury from the cross. Scott Wilson's pass. Kenny Miller on side. Chance for Rangers. Flow in the middle. Curry Andrew Flow has missed a great chance to stretch Rangers lead. And it was an easy one to be fair. Flick from Flo. Onto it is Ferguson. It's the same combination as brought about the first half penalty. Ferguson and Petric. Ferguson kept that in, but only for Grant Murray, who was unceremoniously knocked over by Claudio Reyna. I didn't think there was much in that at all. I think it was a bit harsh to admit a booking the actual challenge. Andy Kirk getting himself out of a tight situation. And there's trouble ahead for Claudio Reyna. He's sent off two bookings inside a minute, and Rangers down to ten men. I don't think he can complain. He could, might have complained about the first one, but this looked to be an obstruction on Andy Kirk. There's some reorganising for Dick Advocat to do now with Claudio Reyna off the pitch. Rangers have got to just get their organisation going and they've got to hold out and uh, they've got to hope that maybe they can get a chance through the, the, the players they've got up front, but in the main they've just got to be careful. Good run, fired in for Kenny Miller, takes a deflection. That was a good challenge by Stephen Presley. Now the match swings towards the other end. It's a bit like a cup tie here. And another free kick to Hearts. Given against the challenge of Arthur Newman. And another yellow card. I think I'll have to take on a secretary to deal with all these bookings. He's lost count, hasn't he? Look at him. And now the red card is being shown. Assumes that must be for dissent. Reaction to the de initial decision. Arthur Newman can't believe it, and it's all falling apart now for Rangers. And two guy is called into action for Rangers, and Tori Andre Flo gives way. Steve Fulton's free kick. And almost a chance, but the whistle had gone. No, just Rangers just establishing that back four. I thought Contamin was going off, but it's uh, Flo who's gone off for the for that change there. And from Scott Severin. And a headed opportunity for Andy Kerr. Juan Joe looking for Severin. Mistake by Alberts. And the pass from Severin in turn goes astray. Tackle well won by Barry Ferguson against Colin Cameron. Might have to do it all himself. Bert Conteman being held back by Juan Joe. Still going though, the Dutchman. Fumbled by Antiniemi. But. Can Hearts make that two-man advantage count? They're running out of minutes. And Presley loses the ball to George Alberts. He's on his own, one against three for Alberts. Great run! Finally, though, it's the side net. And Nielsen again, Hearts won a good ball in. Gordon Jury. And another unbelievable save from Stefan Klaus. Andy Kirk. Needs convinced that that actually happened. Only one man could get any man of the match award for the performance he's turned in here, Stefan Kloss. Andy Gorham used to reduce opposition teams to tears with his performances for Rangers. And Stefan Kloss producing a performance out of the top drawer here. Can Hearts find a way of beating him in these closing stages? We've played exactly 90 minutes. In from Juanjo. Murray's header, Tomashek. Laid back for Nielsen. Headed away by Wilson. And
pumped clear by Billy Dodds. And we're deep in the heart of stoppage time. Two minutes added on already. Amoruso's headed away. This is Wanjo, lofted back in. That's De Boer, only as far as Robbie Nielsen. Off Alberts, tries again. Billy Dodds this time. Stuart Dougal will keep a close examination on his watch. And he's had one final look at it and blown the final whistle. A quite incredible match at Tynecastle. Three points for Rangers. And it's down to those two. George Alberts with the first half penalty. But a string of wonderful saves from Stefan Klaus. Yeah. I think it was a bit lucky that we won the game, but uh, if we want to win the championship again, then uh, I think we have to win those games. And I think uh, we showed a, a good uh, performance after we went uh, two cents off, and uh, we are all happy that we won the game.